I'm tagging a few people. I'll be on in just a second. How are you guys? I'm gonna wait just a bit. Um, this is a really super easy tutorial and I don't wanna um, anyone to miss out because it doesn't take much. I think the hardest part <clears throat> for me was the, um, the actual cup itself, so. Hello, Christine, how are you? Hi, Jessica, hi, Audrey. We had quite a few people interested in seeing this tutorial and um, the technique that I'm gonna show you is super duper easy. Hey, 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 Miss Kim. Um, hi, April, hi, Pam, hi, Miss Jessica. Okay, so guys, 30 ounce um, traditional, excuse me, this is a 30 ounce curve. Of course, you can get these at uh, Puzzle Tumblers. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this into something that looks like uh, school paper. And then I'm going to give you the fun little word, and then I'm going to give this cup away. And I'm going to give away a set of dotting tools. Aren't those pretty? Look how pretty those are. And I'm going to give away mermaid tail earring mold. So you have to stay to the end to get the magic word and then you know what to do from there. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Basically what I did was I did the, um, the glitter method and what that is is you, you spray paint your cup, whatever color you need it, and you add the glitter directly to the epoxy before you put it on. Um, I did that twice, so I didn't have to do uh, the epoxy method, I didn't have to do the Mod Podge method, um, what I used was the white from Puzzle Tumblers, and all I did was um, mix up my epoxy and put it directly into the epoxy. That way you don't lose the glitter. You're going to put your epoxy directly over the top of the white um, tumbler, and if you do it twice, you can't tell that you didn't put it directly on. So that is the glitter method. The next thing I'm going to show you is that you'll see on here, there's little marks on here and I'm going to show you where how to do it and why to do it because you know paper has the straight lines and everybody wants to know well how do you keep the line straight well this is how you do it you take one thing I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and take you down this way so y'all can see what I'm doing y'all aren't here to see me all right basically what you're going to do oh shoot hold on a second okay sorry about that I had to Upline, up, up link to my, um, I had to up link to my um, extension, which allows me to use our Wi-Fi, which is across the, the house. So um, I have an extension that I forget to get onto. So anyway, we're going to take you down. I'm going to show you what I do so that you can get straight lines. And then we're going to throw this together real quick and talk some. And um, this really shouldn't take very long. So down here. <coughs> And this is what you'll need. It doesn't have to be this one, but it's a lot easier to have the flimsy, especially if you're using the curved cup. Um, what I did was I put my one inch at the top, the zero, and then I came down. Now guys, the very first line is going to be an inch and a half down because you know at the top of your um, school paper, there's the, the header part. And then from then on, I went an inch by inch. So I went an inch down, an inch down, inch down, inch down, and I used a permanent marker to mark it. Now, just because it's permanent doesn't mean it's going to be permanent on your cup. All you need is a little bit of alcohol and it comes right off. So that's all I did was I marked it an inch and then I moved it over and I marked it again, an inch and a half down, and then I marched it an inch, an inch, an inch, an inch, all the way down. And then I turned it again, and I put my zero at the top. And this is why having one of these curved ones is great. I mean, the, the, the easier bendy ones is great because it goes along that curve, and you're gonna mark it an inch and a half down again, and then you're going to mark it an inch, an inch, an inch, and an inch. Now, what this is going to do is when we put 
the line on, all you're going to do is go from dot over to dot over to dot over to dot, and then that way you should be able to keep a straight line all the way down. So let's start with that. I'm gonna start with my, guys, I went on ahead and developed the SVG, easy peasy lines, but not everybody likes to do lines. I did the red line, which is what goes down the side. I did the blue lines, which goes across, and I did the three circles, and I uploaded them into the files. There's a file section at the top of the Puzzle Tumblers page. If you go into it, we upload files into it. You can go in there and it's uploaded as a PNG. You should be able to go in and, um, and cut them out and use them as well. So you won't have to make your own. I've already made them for you guys. All right, so what we'll do, bring you down a little bit more. You're quite welcome. And we'll start with the top line. No, you know what? I think I'm going to start with the red line. And the reason I'm starting with the red line is because I don't want my blue lines to go over the top. I want the blue line to go from here to here, but I want the red line to still show. If you go over the top, then you're going to have to fight um, that bump when it comes time to epoxy. So take your thing off and you're going to find one of the lines that you made here. Oh, it's stuck to me, sorry guys. Make it straight and just lay it on top of those lines that you marked with your... measuring tape. And that way you have it straight up and down, just like that. So our first one is down. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife to cut the top and the bottom. And here's the bottom one. And again, remember, if it doesn't come off with alcohol, I have used a slight little itty bitty dab of um, acetone. I mean, I'm not talking slather it on, I'm talking tiny itty bitty dot of acetone and it works great. So there's our first line. It's up and down, straight up and down because we made sure that we were up and down with the uh, measuring tape. That one's done. And now here are the lines that we're going to add on to go around to make. You're going to go from dot to dot. And then you have to decide whether you want to go above the dot, on the dot, or below it. So we'll go from dot to dot here. And you'll see what I'm doing. We'll go from next dot to dot here. Again, next dot over that you've made. Dot to dot. And then dot to dot. And you're going to have to add a little bit more because around this cup is 13 inches. Oh, it might actually work, guys, look. Nope, just a little bit. It's not quite 12 inches around on these cups. And then because you've gone dot to dot to dot, you're gonna to have to add a little bit to it. But look how straight that line is, guys. Dot to dot, that's all you have to do. So now we're gonna go down one and we're going to go from dot to dot to dot. Again, start the beginning. And then when you get to the bottom, you're going to have some leftover uh, vinyl because it's actually more uh, less than 12 inches around down there. But with our paint, with our our um, vinyl, we only have 12 by 12, dot to dot. And this is the technique I was telling you guys about that you can use for just about anything. If you need a straight line, connect the dots. Dot over to dot, dot over. And this one should match almost right up because and there's your second line. I'm gonna fix this because it didn't quite go over. 
I can see what I did. I didn't go over my dot. I went above it. There we go. Just like that. And if you, after you're done and you go through it and you find that there are spots that aren't straight, you can go back in, pull up your vinyl, just like I did, go back and lay it down straight. It's that easy. Make sure you go over your dots. Man, I wish I was perfect. You could just lay these things down easily. All right, there we go. There we go, fixed. Now we'll go to the next one and there is a little extra. And now notice that when I pulled on it a little bit, it stretched. So I think I'm gonna to try to pull on that top one and see if I can just keep it from right there. And here's our next one. I cut out your pages should have 12 of these little lines, but you should only need seven. And I did not keep these middle lines here, but I would highly suggest that you do because then you have these for another project. I just wanted you guys to be able to see the lines when I was putting them down so I didn't keep the ones in between. So really you're taking care of two different projects here. All right, again, we're gonna go dot to dot. Now with this cut that I give away, I am going to epoxy this, but I'm not gonna put any writing on it because you're going to get this cut you might decide that you want to give it to a teacher or you might be a teacher and you decide you want to use it yourself. So I'm going to let you finish it up at home. See, I'm not touching my dots. Dot to dot. I'm telling you to do it and I'm not doing it myself. There we go. Very good, and all the way around. Okay, that's how you're going to do the dots, and you're going to do it all the way down to the bottom of the cup, and have straight lines all the way around. How far do you measure between? Okay, this is an inch and a half, and these are an inch. So you're gonna go an inch and a half down here. You'll go an you put your mark at the top, hold on to it, and not in centimeters. Is that inches? Yeah, this is inches. You're going to go down an inch and a half, right here. And then you're going to go down another inch, which is going to be your half inch. But you're only gonna go down an inch, and you'll do it all the way down, another inch all the way down to the bottom. And with your permanent marker, or any kind of marker that you would like to use, then you can take it off with alcohol or just a small itty bitty, just you don't even have to have a whole lot of acetone. It doesn't take a lot. Now you don't wanna rub all over your cup because that'll break down the epoxy, but you just want to use enough. If you see the dot like this dot, I can see slightly underneath, I might wanna just take that off a little bit. All right, let's do a few more and then we'll add the dots because we have these to add to it. And these are also on the file that I uploaded for you guys. So that you can, um, so that you can just cut it out and you won't have to worry about dot. I second guess myself, but then I do it and it works out and then I need to stop second guessing myself. But this was the technique I was telling you. If you need straight lines on anything, measure it out and mark your cup. If you don't want to use permanent marker, you don't have to, but look guys, all the way around, all the way around. All it took was a dot. Put this down, a little exacto knife mag uh, magic here, and we have another line. Now, I do these an inch apart. If you don't want to, if you want these to be less than an inch, you can do that. You don't have to do an inch apart. Hey, Barb. Um, so if you want to just do, dry erase marker would work 
two, um, I think that I would be more worried about using dry erase because I have a tendency to touch my cup and I would end up taking it off. Um, another thing that could work would probably be marking it with small pieces of vinyl or um, I don't know. I've always done it with a permanent marker and I've never had a problem. I mean, we're not talking one of the thick ones. We're talking the ones with this little bitty end here. One, I'm, you don't even have to mark it. It's just a dot. All right, let's do another one. I only have three more to go. I chose blue for the lines because that's how it looks on um, the paper that the kids use. But you can use black. Another fun thing you could do is the Big Chief rolls where they have the extra lines in there. You can find that on Google. So you can do the multiple lines. There's also a, um, a font that you can use that will um, make it look like children's writing. That's a lot of fun. But if you decide you want your teacher's name on here, you guys are gonna get to finish the cup. Whoever wins this cup gets to finish it. Unless you decide you want me to go ahead and just uh, finish up the epoxy. I'm not gonna add in any additional um, vinyl to it. Once this is done and I epoxy it down, if you want more vinyl on it, you'll have to do that yourself. So there's the next line. I have two more to go. Um, and then we'll add the last one on. And then I have a, something to show you that I just got in and I'm so stinking excited about it that, and I hope everybody else gets excited as well. Dot, all over to the dot, over to the next dot, over to the next dot, next dot, and then match it up. Just right there, matched it up. One more and then we'll be done with our lines. Look how fast that went. I think the hardest part of this whole cup was waiting for the epoxy to dry. Yeah, there's a lot of really cute fonts. Um, I also saw um, a font recently <clears throat> that is uh, the way that I was taught to, to write cursive. Exactly, that's cute, the one with the cursive, yeah. My daughter called it. Oh, I can't read this, Mom. The lines are squiggly. Oh, child, I wish they would teach you guys cursive. All right, now the last one's not going to be exactly an inch because I decided to do it around the bottom um, of the line that it's actually part of the cup. And then I'm gonna go over this later and make sure that all my lines are straight before this goes out. That's just because I feel like there might be a few that are not quite straight. And then I wanna show you one more thing that you can do at the top, because I don't think I want to. This one right here didn't match up very well. I think I'm gonna pull it and try to make it stretch a little bit so that I don't have to add just a tiny bit. But yes, if you don't pull too hard, it should stretch just enough. Yeah, I think it's gonna happen, guys. Yep. Don't pull too hard, just stretch it a little bit. Yeah, there we go, stretched it. All right, now we're going to add in our dots. Now your dots, I did mine in black. I've seen them done in silver. Can't get this one to lay down correctly. Um, so that's really kind of up to you. Um, I, When I did my SVG for you guys, I actually did it in the colors that I'm using on this cup itself so that when you pull it up, you'll know where the lines go. So you know that the red line is down the side. You'll know that the blue lines are the ones that are gonna go around the cup. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our little circles, okay? <coughs> They're gonna go here, here, and here. You can see at the bottom, this line right here is a little different. I'm contemplating writing some more, cutting some more, and this is the line I've got to fix too, and putting them down the center and making them all like this. But when I originally did the SVG 
or I came up with the, uh, the pattern, I did it inches apart, and that's completely, again, it's up to you how you decide you wanna do it. One, two, three, one, two, three. I think I'm gonna do it here. Here. Down again in the center, right there. And I think I'm gonna put that other one up here. I think I'm gonna go further down, just like that. And now, people, we have ourselves a little white cup. Easy, 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 easy. I mean, it's just that easy. If you do your dots, it's a matter of just putting your lines down. Um, the, oh my gosh, wouldn't that be fun if you could have your kid sign his name and then scan it in and print it out? You can even make it cut out um, if you're using your silhouette. I've done that before and it's really a lot of fun. Another thing you could do if we ever get back to school is have all of the kids in the classroom sign their name and then put that on there um, as a clear water slide. Have all of their names on the lines. That would be so, so cute. Okay, these just came in, guys. I have to show you this. Literally, right before I went live, these came in. Look at this cup. I cannot wait to, show, to, to do something with this. <gasps> Look at this cup. Is that not the most amazing thing ever? You can glitter and epoxy this because it's double walled. So the epoxy actually won't go through that second layer then you don't have to worry about it seeping into anything that you're drinking. Um, another thing is you can bling the top. And I don't know if any of you have seen JLo's cups. This is what she's using. Wouldn't it be great? They're on the, her site right now, guys. Um, the day that she told me they were there, I went in and bought six of them because I know that these things are gonna go really, really fast. They're on her site. Inside is 20 ounce, but look at the size, holding on to it. And it comes with a straw. so. You can bling the top. You can just put maybe your Starbucks or whatever you decide you wanna put on the side or your glitter. You can use um, epoxy or you can use the, um, the polyurethane. That works just as well. Um, it's also known as uh, quick set with, I don't have it over here. Yes, it's called quick set with counterculture. I just wanted to make sure I didn't say the wrong one. Um, you can put that on there as well and this, that glitter won't move. All right, so let me show you lovely, lovely people what we're going to be giving away. Um, we're going to give away the cup. That's your first one. I'm going to give away this mold that is um, Mermaid Tail. And I'm going to give away these dotting tools. Look how cool those dotting tools are, guys. They're perfect for starting off. Um, the word is going to be, um, let's do school because we're doing school paper. You're going to go to Jennifer Stratton Short. Do not put it on this page. Do not put it in the messages um, on this page. You're going to go to Jennifer Stratton Short and you're going to um, type in the word school. Jennifer Stratton Short and type in the word school. Um, today is Tuesday. I will do the live Friday or Saturday because I do have um, the two cups that we're going to do on Saturday, which, oh, excuse me, Saturday is the from beginning to end, um, the red, white, and blue flag. We're going to be doing that on Saturday and I will announce the winners that day. Um, so remember, those are the three things. This is the cup that I'll give away. I'll give away the dotting tools and I'll give away the mold. Okay. I know. Isn't this shirt fantastic? These are the, these are the, um, the iron-ons they're selling on puzzle tumblers. She sent this to me and you're going to see me wearing it every Tuesday from now on. Buttons too. You have to let everybody know about these. They're fantastic. They're so easy to iron on people. I don't have any problems getting it on and I've already washed it twice and it hasn't, I haven't had any problems with it coming off. So yeah, these are available as well. And these are available. So go get them now. Jennifer Stratton shorts is going to be school. And I will see you guys Saturday. I want to see you guys Saturday because it's going to be a really fun. No, nope. Janice, go to Jennifer Stratton Short. That's me. And go into my messenger and type that in there. And that'll get you in. And this is only until 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Anything after 9 o'clock does not count. Um, you don't know it's in there because I, I ordered them. Uh, I think I had to go into... 
I think I had to go into new tumblers. I'm not sure, but I will upload the link as soon as I get off work. Yay, Kirsten, you see you Saturday too. Um, so if you guys wanna follow along with doing the cup, we're gonna need red, white, and blue glitter. Um, and we will tape it. I mean, this is gonna be a long tutorial. We're gonna tape it all together. So you're gonna need painter's tape as well. And you're going to need your cup. Your cup will be painted white, okay? I would suggest it white. It would make it a lot easier. You're going to need red and blue uh, spray paint as well, all right? So I'll see you guys Saturday. Send it on over. I did, Bobby. I saw that your name just popped down and told me that you sent that on over. Um, and let me go. I want to go ahead and upload that link so that you guys find these cups because they're going to go really, really fast. These are not the buy-ins. The buy-ins are on their way. Um, they're stuck in quarantine, but these are the ones that just came in. So I will see you guys Saturday. You guys be safe out there, and uh, thanks for joining me. Bye.